Hey everybody, this is Glenn and welcome to Glenn's Q Town Eats, your source for good recipes. Um, a couple months, about a month ago, I guess it was, I uh, made some uh, classic French bread and um, I put it on my uh, Facebook page, a picture of it. So a couple of you asked, uh, a couple of the viewers asked if I can show them how to make it. And it's pretty simple. Um, it's very simple actually, but just time consuming. But it's actually not that bad because you just wait. You can do other things in between. You don't have to sit around and wait. Uh, you can go out and do an errand and then come back. Uh, it's just a matter of putting it together and rising and uh, punching it down again, rising again and baking it off. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so what I have here is a cup and a quarter of tepid water. And what I mean by tepid is when you stick your finger in it, and my hands are washed, don't worry about that, you don't go, ooh, or ah, it's not too cold and it's not hot. It's just like that perfect temperature, like you, you know, you want to jump in the back. Um, so that's what you want. It's, it's around 105 to 110 degrees. And um, if you have it too hot and you put yeast in, which we're gonna do, the yeast, uh, which is a living organism, is going to not, it's gonna die. That's gonna get too hot. And if you put it in too cold, it will never bloom. So um, you need it at that pretty much that right temperature. And it's not hard to figure out. Like I said, just stick your finger in there. It should feel like that nice, just ooh, feeling at the end. So what I have here is I have my quick rise yeast and I have it in the jar. If you're buying the packets, you only need one packet. But if you're using this, it's two and a quarter a teaspoons of the yeast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour this into the water and I'm going to sprinkle it over the top here. Try to get it evenly dispersed here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, the more even you get it, the better. Okay, so I put that in there. So I'm going to let that sit for about five minutes. And when we come back, you're going to see it's kind of going to be uh, bubbling. It's going to start be becoming alive <laughs> like the blob. But uh, then we'll take a look at it in about five minutes. Okay. It creeps, it leaps, it glides, it slides. Beware of the blob. <laughs> that right? um, so it just, it's got that foamy bu bubbling in there. I don't know if you can see it bubbling. But uh, it's time to put this into the Mex Master here. So let's bring you over here a little bit. Okay. So we're going to dump this all in here. It all out and make all, sure all that yeast is out of there. And we're going to just start mixing it. Give it a good mix here. I'm going to let that go for a few seconds here. Okay. Over here, I can see you. I measured. Uh, two pounds and uh, about one to two ounces of flour. And to this um, mixture, I'm going to add two cups of this flour here. So let me get that going and get that in there. So I'm going to that up. I'm going to leave the rest for later. This is going to create what we call a sponge. And that's going to, you know, give the cake, the, cake, the um, bread, that um, glutinous uh, filling. Uh, when I talk about gluten, Talking about that nice crust that you get on top. So let's do that and mix that's one cup. Once that's all incorporated. I'll add the other cup. Get this out of here for a second. Maneuver in here. I'm going to turn this up a little bit and I'm going to beat this for about 10 minutes. Again, uh, the, all this is doing is creating that uh, gluten which is going to form a nice hard crust on the outside and it's going to be nice and uh, airy and spongy on the inside. So let's let this go for 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 5 minutes now and the re way you know it's done is when it's pulled away from the bowl like that. So let's stop this machine here. And we're just going to 
remove this hook here. There goes my bell. All right, just remove that, get all this bread off there. Not bread yet, but it's gonna become bread. Try to get as much off as I can without getting my fingers in there. Come on. There we go. Almost. That one little piece won't come off there. See it? <laughs> All right, let's try a spatula here. Maybe that will work. Let's see. Just trying to save as much as I can. going to do now is add my dough hook to this. Up and turn. And what I have here is a slurry of a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of very, very hot water that it's dissolved in. So I'm just going to swish that around a little bit. And we're going to pour that right into here. I'm going to scrape all that out. Make sure I get all the salt because salt's very important in bread for the taste. Okay, so let's get that dough hook down there and get that incorporated a little bit. The dough hook actually does the job of kneading it. So now what I'm going to do is take my flour here, the rest of my flour, and we're going to start adding that in a little at a time. We already put two cups in there, so the rest of the uh, one and one ounce flowers is going to be remaining in there. So it's going to do a little each time until this one gets incorporated. It doesn't have to be all incorporated, but. All right, let's get the next one in there. cup in there. This is the sink. And we'll just, I don't know that, that's a cup, but whatever that remaining is, that's what we're going to put in there. Close that up. And put on two, because that's what you're supposed to need on. And we'll let it go. We'll let it go for about 10 minutes here. So we'll come back in about 10 minutes. Okay, I lied. Um, this is good for five minutes, not ten minutes. But as you can see, again, it pulled away from the bowl, and it's in a nice thing. So I'm just gonna shut this off here, and we're gonna lift it up, and I'm gonna get this off the dough hook here, as so. All right, let me pull this up and get this in the sink. So what I have here is I have a very large bowl. Um, that I uh, coated with olive oil. So I'm going to get my bread here. Like I said, it's not bread yet, but it will be. I'm going to get a little olive oil in my hands here from this. And we're going to just start forming this into a nice ball. I don't know if you can see me here, but I'm just going to keep turning and packing. 
until we get a nice round ball like that. I'm gonna squeeze the bottom here so it's all covered. Roll that out. And I'm gonna take my bowl here and I, let me move some stuff so you can see here. All right, here we go. Let's move that that way. All right, so I have my dough here. I'm just gonna coat the dough in that olive oil that's around the pan. And once it gets coated, I'm gonna take a towel. I'd like a fine one here. I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna stick it in a warm place for about two hours. So we'll come back in two hours and see what that looks like. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half, two hours. So let's open this up. Oh, good. Okay, it's got a good rise in it. You can see it all nice and puffy. So uh, basically what we're gonna do is just punch this down again. Get the air out of there. Like that. And we can lift this up a little bit now. And we're just going to form it into another ball and we're going to let it rise about another hour. Like I said, it's not hard to make, but it just it is time consuming. And the good thing is, like, you don't have to, like, sit over and watch it. You could just put it aside, go do other chores, go to the store if you really wanted to. It's, you know whatever is easiest for you, but it's, it's not hard. All right, so let's get some more of that oil on here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put this down for another hour. Okay, welcome back. It's been about another hour and our dough is risen pretty good. I'll get it down in a second. But uh, what I did, I just put a little foil down here and I have some um, cornmeal. And I'm just going to lightly spread that down here where my bread's going to be. I'm just going to coat the bottom of the bread when I put it down and let it rise again. Just so that it um, kind of doesn't stick when we put it in the uh, oven. So let me find my dough here. All right. So this is what the dough looks like. So once again, we're going to punch it down. Get all that air out of it. And we'll take it out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna form this dough into our bread. So I'm just gonna play around with it a little bit here. I want it to be I want it to be uh, a nice loaf, nice size loaf, so let's say how does that look? A little bigger than that. Okay, good. All right. So we're going to put it down here, and I'm just going to push these edges. And I think you see what I'm doing here, right? Get these edges all uh, closed up here. Push it up again, and we'll just put it down here, and we're going to even this out much as possible. Yeah, that looks like a nice loaf of bread, doesn't it? Is it a little wider there? All right. So now I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to lay it on these um, crumbs here. Press down just a little bit. And we're going to let this go one more rise probably about a half hour and we're going to get this in the oven okay um i have my um pizza stone here that i'm going to use or you can use any breadstone pizza stone if you don't have one you can use a heavy duty baking sheet and just like i said line that a little bit with um cornmeal but i'm going to throw this into the oven And I'm going to put a pan full of water on the bottom rack, on the bottom of that. So let's fill this up with hot water. So there we go. Like I said, the, the pizza uh, stone is on the top rack, and this is going on the bottom rack here. So let me get that down there. All right. 
I'm going to close that up and I'm going to heat the oven to 450 degrees. I'll be right with you. I'm going to turn my temperature up at this point. I think it's 450. I'll double check that on my recipe. But... All right. Okay, so let's get started with the bread here. What I'm going to do here. All right, I have an egg white with a tablespoon of water, and I have some softened butter. So I'm just going to make some slashes, diagonal slashes, uh, maybe about eight of them in this bread here, about a quarter inch thick. Just like that. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Good. Okay. Let me. Okay, well that, that's good right there. You don't want to go too deep. Uh, you don't want to deflate the bread. So I'm just going to take some of that butter and I'm going to get it in these little creases here. So, and then after this, I definitely got to wash my hand here. All right, so make sure you get both sides of these. You can overfill them. It doesn't matter. It's all good. <laughs> all right, let me wash my hands. Okay, the next thing I do is I have that egg white and the uh, mixture of one tablespoon of water. And I'm just going to brush this bread here with this mixture here. Just coat it. You don't have to put it on too thick. I don't, I don't really want it on too thick. Put this up and just get the sides here. That's good. All right. And then the last thing I want to do before I put it in the oven is I have my little sifter here. Uh, I have a, a little flour in there. And I'm just going to put some flour over the top of it. Just going to give it that rustic look. Okay, my oven's ready, so I'm going to get this into the oven, and I uh, will get it down in about 25 minutes. All right, so um, I've got about 10 seconds left here, uh, my timer here, and I'm going to grab these out with the tongs and uh, bring them right over here, and we'll take a look and see what that bread looks like. Here we go. I'm going to hit the timer off, oven off, and let's see if I can grab this. Oh, gosh. All right. There we go. Look at that. Nice hard crust on the outside. So we're going to let that cool down and then we can cut into it in about 15 minutes or so when it uh, cools down there and uh, it be able to handle it. So how's that look? So there's classic French bread for you. Okay, the bread's cooled off. So it's, it's not 100% cool, but it's cool enough. So let's cut a little piece of here and see what the inside looks like. You can hear that nice crunch on the uh, outside though. And you can see how nice and soft it is on the inside. So hard on the outside, soft on the inside. And that's the classic French bread recipe. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, put them in the comments section. And if you haven't already, then you go onto my YouTube channel, Glenn's Q Town Eats. That's uh, Glenn's with an apostrophe S. And uh, subscribe to my channel there if you haven't. I appreciate it and thank you.
And with the uh, bread we made today, I leave you with this um, Bible verse from John uh, 6, 35. Uh, Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. So until we meet again, thanks for watching, and uh, God bless.